Hi guys, this is Edward and welcome to the 10th video tutorial of creating a floppy bell game with Godot. In this tutorial we're going to make the main menu stage which we'll show before the game stage. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to create a new scene and I'll add a simple node. Let's name it main menu. I'm going to hit Ctrl S to save this scene and I'll save it in the stages folder as menu stage that CCN. So this scene is going to be quite similar to the game stage. It's going to have the bird, the camera following it, the ground spawner, and also the background. So making this scene will be pretty simple. Let's start with the camera, and instead of creating it from scratch, we'll copy this one and paste it as a child of this node. And to do so, right click on this node and click on Mesh from Scene. I'll select the game stage and we want to import the camera. Click OK and there we have it. Let's now instantiate the bird scene. Right click on Main Menu, Instance Child Scene and under the Scenes folder we will import the bird scene. Let's run the scene to see what we have so far. And here we have the bird flying and the camera is also following it since the bird is not getting out of view. But we want the bird to be in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to set its exposition to 144 divided by 2 and its Y position to 110. And I'm not setting it vertically centered because we want a space to displace a few borders below. If we run the scene again, we see that the bird is still offset, and that is because of the set we set before on the camera. So instead of minus 36, I'll set it to minus 44 divided by 2. Let's give it another shot. And there we have it. Let's now instantiate the spawner ground. Right click on the main menu, Instance Child Scene, choose the spawner ground scene. And we can see that it is already at its default position. And if we run the scene, we can see the grounds being spawned. We now need the background. So right click here, Instance Child Scene, select the background scene. Run the scene, and there we have it. So we now need to display a few labels and buttons, and to do so we will need a canvas layer. So I'll add a canvas layer node, and I'll name it HUD. Let's add a texture frame, and name it Text Flappy Bird. And for its texture, I'm going to assign the label Flappy Bird Sprite. Let's resize it so it fits the size of the sprite. And to have it horizontally centered, since its width is 89, I'll set its exposition to half 144 minus half 89, and set its Y position to 70. So we have it right above the bird. Now we need a few borders below, so let's add a Texture Button node. Name it BTN Rate. For its normal texture, let's assign the Button Rate Normal Sprite. And for the Pressed Texture, the Button Rate Pressed Sprite. Let's resize it so its size is the same as the sprite. And to centralize it, since its width is 31, I'll set its exposition to 144 divided by 2 minus 31 divided by 2 and set Y to 135. So we have it below the bird, but still with plenty of room for the bird to fly. The two remaining buttons are exactly these two we already have in the game stage scene. So in menu stage, 
right click on HUD and merge from scene. Select the game stage. And we are going to import the edge box buttons. And there we have them, already at a good position. But we don't want them with the functionality they already have in the game stage. So for the Xbox buttons, I'm going to remove the script. As well for the button play. Since this button is the one that is going to take us to the game stage, I'll add a new build in a script. Name it BTM Play. And as always, I'll remove all these comments. So what this button will do is quite straightforward. It's just going to change to the game stage, and we already have the stage manager node that takes care of that. So in ready, I'm going to connect the signal pressed to the self node to the function on pressed which I'll create down here. And in here, from the stage manager, we'll call the function change stage, passing as argument stage manager dot stage game. Let's give it a shot. And when I press the button play, it goes to the game stage. Since this is the main menu, this scene should be the one that pops up when the game rooms. So let's go to the project settings. And as a main scene, I'll set the menu stage scene. And if we now run the whole project, the main menu shows up. Well guys, this is gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with other people that might be interested in Godot or in game development. A big thanks to all my patrons. Your support, guys, really means a lot. And until next time, see you later.